Hi everyone, today we've got a quick hack to show you how you can set up your HubSpot to automatically create tickets every time a deal is closed. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. Automatically creating tickets when deals get closed is perfect for teams with something like an onboarding process that they have to keep track of every time they close a new customer. It does require that you have Marketing Hub Professional and Service Hub Professional, but if you've got those, it's just a quick workflow. So let's dive in. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and create a new workflow by clicking this orange button in the top right corner. And uh, we're gonna do start from scratch and deal-based workflow. And a blank workflow will do. You can have the option to name it here. I always recommend naming it at the beginning just so you don't forget. So we're just gonna call create tickets upon deal closed. We're gonna do a closed one this time. So we'll hit next. All right, so we wanna set up a trigger uh, that triggers every time a deal reaches the closed one stage. So we're gonna set up trigger, filter type's gonna be deal. I'm gonna search for stage. And I'm gonna search for closed one. We've got a couple different pipelines in this portal, so we're just gonna pick closed one for this demo sales pipeline. And apply filter and save. So now this workflow is gonna trigger every time a deal reaches the stage of closed one in that pipeline. So the next thing we're gonna do is create our ticket. So we're gonna find the create record option here. And we're gonna create a ticket. And you'll see these options pop up. So you can assign it to whoever you'd like to. So if you want to assign it to uh, the person that currently owns the deal, that's great. Otherwise you can assign it to another member of your team if somebody else is gonna be responsible for something like onboarding. Um, if there's multiple owners, you can select which owner. You can name the ticket. Uh, you can also pull in deal tokens to name it. So if you want the name to be uh, the same name as the deal, or if you want it to be, um, you know, if there's a property in the deal that you want to use as all or part of the name for the ticket, you can do that here. But for now, we're just going to put test ticket in here. Ticket pipeline and status. So we already created a onboarding pipeline. Um, so we're going to drop it in the first um, status stage of that ticket pipeline. Source, you can have the source be uh, any of your predefined options here. I'm gonna leave this one blank for us. And you can put in the ticket description. Again, you have the option to use any deal tokens in your description. You can also set any other properties that you have defined for the ticket object record. So if we want to you know, define a category or something like that, we could do that and then that'll pop open here as an option for us to for us to do. So I'm just gonna make something up here. Um, and then the other thing that you can do is you can copy deal properties to ticket properties. So if there's a lot of information on the deal stored that you want to also store in the ticket, you could copy any of those properties to the ticket properties as well. And your last options here is gonna be your associations with the ticket. So the ticket is always gonna be associated with the deal. Uh, and you can choose to add the timeline activity from that deal if they're going to need that historical context. And you can also associate any contacts and companies from the deal. So we're going to leave all of those uh, by the default for this test and hit save. So that really is all there is to it for the workflow. The only thing you have to do now is review and publish. Make sure you've got all of your settings the way you like them. In this case, we're not going to enroll existing deals and we're gonna turn it on. So now anytime a deal gets closed one in this pipeline, it's gonna automatically create a ticket in our onboarding pipeline. Thanks so much for watching today's quick hack. For more HubSpot tips, tricks, and how to's, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and jump down to our description to sign up for our newsletter. See you next time.